this one. But make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. This match has started. This is a classic. Two guys battling it out one-on-one. -on -one. Remember, only the strong survive. Serious injuries. No kidding, this is gonna need some serious medical attention. And Triple H with a reversal. And that's because the game has a gift for getting out of trouble, Cole. He's showing no signs of letting up. Look out! And Cena looking to put him away right here. Vintage Cena. Well, Triple H has a number of monikers that he goes by. But however you know him, know that according to him, everything he does, he does it because it's best for business. There it is, the attitude adjustment. Oh, the dreaded AA. Uh-oh, there's the finisher. This might be over, and I mean all over. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Now back to the ring. What a match this is going to be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. Not today. Too fast. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Oh, you know, people love talking about factions and stables and supergroups. Well, how about Dominant Tag Team? One of the scariest alliances that WWE has ever seen was when Triple H joined Stone Cold Steve Austin and formed the two-man power trip. They held all the gold in WWE at the same time. You talk about dominating. you get out of the ring anything can happen you've got exposed steel concrete the barricades and all of it can be used to cause massive damage i can't believe this is still going on this has reached the point of savagery and there's not a doctor on blue and mr mcmahon hated it what offense triple h is showing at this point Once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Watch out! To take a oh, geez! He might need to change his drawers after that one. Let me tell you, when it comes to finishing moves, I don't think anyone has perfected their finisher like Triple H has the pedigree. He can and has flattened opponents of all shapes and sizes with that move. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. That's what happens when you're in a powerful grasp. You go down. Oh, that slam was vicious. Even if you can get back to your feet after a move like that, at this stage of the match, you're still struggling to find your balance. Oh my gosh! The toll from this match is really starting to show. He is slowly getting dissected. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. When it comes to the pedigree king, you're absolutely right. Triple H. John Cena is getting this match in gear at this point. This is it. This is John Cena's moment. Uh-oh. There's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. John Cena wants to end it here. There's the five-knuckle shuffle, folks. Oh, that had to hurt right between the eyes. Way to go, John. Triple H has been hammered on here, and it's showing.
And there's the reversal. Quick thinking to avoid that. Triple H is so dangerous. When the game creates that energy for himself and begins to control the match, he's like a rabid dog who will not stop his attack. Wow, look at that power. What makes it even more impressive is that it's all in one motion. Ow. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot to hit there. Now the question is, is this going to continue? And if so, for how long? If you're looking to make a statement, job well done. This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. What a huge win.